you were watching some video that was downlinked yesterday. Uh, this is video of Ole Kotov as he is uh, working on his spacesuit. He and your chicken yesterday got into their Orlon spacesuits. Your chicken is wearing the suit with the red stripes, and red stripes, and Kotov will be wearing this uh, suit in the, with the blue stripes tomorrow during the EVA. Uh, this is part of a dry run dress rehearsal that took place in the Pierce docking compartment. Uh, during this time, they tested all of the suits systems from end to end for one final time. Uh, everything checked out on those suits and is in good order for tomorrow's spacewalk. Tomorrow's spacewalk is designated as Russian EVA-18. There is a second Russian spacewalk, uh, that is Russian EVA-19, and that is scheduled for June 6. Tomorrow's spacewalk coverage begins at 12.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, with the EVA scheduled to begin with hatch opening at 1.20 p.m. That EVA should last approximately six hours. The crew will begin tomorrow with a wake up at 5.20 a.m. Then at 7 a.m. the Pierce docking compartment preparations will begin and a check out of the Orlon suit will begin at 8 p.m. I mean, excuse me, 8 a.m. Uh, the final Orlon, Orlon suit telemetry and biomed checks will begin at 9.05 a.m. And then of course NASA commentary will begin at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Suit up for tomorrow's EVA begins at 11.05 tomorrow, and NASA TV coverage begins at 12.30, with the EVA hatch opening at 1.20 p.m. You're watching video that was downlinked yesterday of your chicken and Kotov as they worked in the Pierce docking compartment on uh, the final systems checks on the two O-line suits that the crew will be wearing tomorrow. Everything is set for tomorrow's spacewalks by your Chikan and Kotov. Uh, the two will retrieve the Christmas tree bundle, uh, uh, which is a um, an adapter um, that is, looks very similar to a Christmas tree, and that's why it was named such. And on that um, adapter, there are uh, panel bundles that are mounted on a holder. Um, these bundles include six or seven shills each, so the two will retrieve that bundle. Um, it has three packages of 17 protect protective debris panels, and these debris panels will be installed on the forward cone of the VESTA service module. Tomorrow, your Chikin and Kotov will work to install the first set of those panels. They will also string a GPS cable along the VESTA service module, and that uh, cable will be used for the rendezvous and docking of the European Automated Transfer Vehicle. Docking of that vehicle is to the aft port of the VESTA. As the two crew members tomorrow work uh, outside of the station, Williams will be working uh, inside the station, uh, monitor monitoring the two and working the robotics. You can see in this uh, photo of uh, this video that is being downlinked from uh, yesterday. Uh, Kotov as he is in the Orlon spacesuit with the red stripes and next to him is Kotov with the blue stripes. During the spacewalk tomorrow, your Chikin and Kotov will leave the station and extend the manually operated Strela. That is a 45-foot Russian crane that is attached to the Pierce airlock. Um, they will use that crane uh, they will extend it to the pressurized mating adapter number three that's located on the unity node and, and then move to that adapter and uh, once they have done that, the spacewalkers will use that strella to retrieve the three bundles of debris panels 
um, that are stowed on the pressurized mating adapter. The debris panels are designed to protect the service module against micrometeoroid impacts. Uh, each panel is hollow and they are about one meter tall and about a half a meter wide and about 10 centimeters thick. Six similar shields were installed on an earlier expedition. You're watching video that was downlinked yesterday as the um, two Russian cosmonauts uh, work on their, uh, excuse me, their Orlan spacesuits. They were doing a systems check on those suits uh, to be sure that they were prepared for tomorrow's EVA. Over the holiday weekend, there were two uh, hardware hiccups uh, on the space station. One of those um, was the remote power controller module um, that was changed out a couple of week, weeks ago. Um, that experienced a trip over the weekend. And on, in addition to that, some equipment in the Destiny Lab also had to be reset. Uh, none of these hiccups uh, have any impact to the EVA operations for tomorrow. You're watching video that was downlinked yesterday, and this is video of our two cosmonauts uh, as they are suited up for their um, suited up in their Orlon spacesuits for a dry run dress rehearsal. At this time, they are uh, excuse me, they are getting out of their um, spacesuits.